Hi guys, so today we're back at my favourite track, Flyton Park, for the Formula Woman Experience Day. I'm really excited, it's my first chance getting on track with Formula Woman and we get some very exciting track time in the Jaguar Project 8 as well. So I'll give you a little bit of a tour around the cars that I'm going to be driving and we'll see how we get up. Definitely my favourite track, it's where it all started. So I've just had my first session out in the 220i with Anna and it was fabulous. Great to be back at Flyton as well but it's very very different to the Elise. She's a very good instructor getting me to come off the brakes a bit smoother and more gently to be able to control the car better. So lots to work on and hopefully we'll be going out in the bit more powerful BMW next and see what happens. So let's get some improvements done. Everyone loves the dogs. <laughs> So that's the second session done in the higher powered 3 litre BMW 230i. It felt a lot quicker, there's still a delay in the power of the car but again it's helping me nail the lines of cornering, braking and all the more important stuff where the speed will then come later. So all that's left now is the Jaguar Project 8 which I'm very excited for to finally get going. It's like a bit more high powered and something completely different to what I'm used to so I'm very excited to see how it handles, see how I cope with it as well and really nail the skills that I've learned throughout the day. So. Let's go give it a go. So that's the final session done in the Jaguar. It's so different. Obviously, it's completely opposite to what I'm used to. Left hand drive, it's heavier, it's bigger. So I was very conscious about all that space on the right hand side that I'm not used to having. But I think I built it up quite well. Obviously, I'm a little bit, obviously I think I need more time in the car to get used to it and just have a bit more confidence in the left hand drive and the size of it. But I really, really enjoyed it. I learned lots and I got told I never made the same mistake twice, just a different mistake on each lap. So some positives, some negatives there. But like I say, today is all about learning and getting everything nailed. So it's been an ex excellent day and a big thanks to all the women. So, Goodbye to the Jack, goodbye to the Beavers, and thank you to Katie and Anna, the instructors, and Graham, of course. But, but we're going to get some feedback from Flea from the Me Box stuff, so I'm going to end this here for now, and then we'll skip forward to a couple of days' time once I get all the feedback, just to keep you all up to date. So, welcome back. We're about a week on from the Blyton Jaguar track day, and somebody mentioning no names went to edit the video and realised they hadn't done the outro with the feedback. So, I had some really positive feedback from Graham and the team. I was really happy with the comments and of course they've given me some pointers and directions on where to improve. Things like releasing the brakes a bit more smoothly and also delay applying the power too soon. As in the dry, that's fine where I was doing it, but obviously as we develop more into winter, we're going to start getting damper tracks, rain, more difficult conditions and I've got to be able to adapt to that. So it's given me a real good direction of where to take my next steps on track and how to keep improving my skills and get to the best I can be. So again, a huge thank you to Formula Woman and Series Elite and all the team that was there at Blighton on Saturday. It was awesome as well meeting some more of the girls that are taking part in the competition and just chatting along to them and sharing this fun track day experience with them. So that's it for now. You guys know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!